Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out an alpha version of an upcoming game called Dur or D-U-R. I'm not sure which way it's intended to be pronounced. It is a very surreal and strange third person platform with a musical bent to it. We're going to be playing as a sheet of iron that has a violin and can levitate objects. I know that sounds like a very strange combination of things. But the game is very stylistically interesting as well as, you know, auditorily quite interesting as well. So we're going to, you know, have a quick jaunt through it. It's a very, very short experience, what's on offer at the moment, so we'll have no problem playing through the whole thing. It's probably only about five minutes long, and I'm sure if I rush it, I could probably knock it down to a minute. Uh, but it is worth showing off, and I hope you guys will enjoy uh, a quick run through this. So let's start it up. Very elegant title screen, I must say. I really do enjoy the art put in there. Please bring back the music. As the metronome slowed, so did the text showing up on the screen. How did I end up here? Says the sheet of iron. Where are we? Where did we end up? I'm not sure. Violin, where have I lost you? Let's take a second here to get acclimated before we start moving around. So we've got WASD to control our character. Uh, the character turns in place sort of like a Resident Evil style control mechanism. Uh, the way the game looked to me initially, I sort of imagined this would play a little bit like something like Psychonauts uh, in the control mechanism. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case quite yet, but again, we are in an alpha version. All right, there's our violin sitting right ahead of us here. Violin, I missed you a bit. <laughs> That's such an anticlimactic, like, oh, I missed you, kind of. <laughs> so apparently a love-hate relationship that the uh, piece of iron has with the violin. I really like these strings that seem to be, or bits of light that seem to be showing through the sheet of iron. I'm not really sure why we're playing as this character exactly, but I am curious, and it definitely has a bit of intrigue to it. It's a little skittering walking animation we walk around to. Alright, let's walk up here. There seems to be a lot of bits of uh, fractured metal, very industrial-looking area. Sort of reminds me a little of Wally as well. Maybe this is the Earth after everyone has turned it into a giant landfill. And uh, musicality has erupted out of this particular piece of metal, and it's decided to go on a quest. So we saw some sort of dog creature or something that I imagine we're going to try and follow around. Uh, why did you leave me? Where are you? Is it the music? Footprints. Okay, it wants us to follow the footprints. I'm a little sad that the anti-aliasing is so low on this, because the jaggies on the back of our character are so tough to look at, just considering, you know, they're supposed to be a straight line. So we've got what looks like a skull, and I'm going to guess like staff marks or something, uh, or scratches, I'm not sure which. Let's follow the footprints. Pretty sure I know where these go. Uh, one thing, again, that I've noticed, and again, this is another alpha version of a thing, so I, I am aware that these things will probably get polished and worked on, but the animations are a bit rough, and also the way that you have to move around is a little bit odd as well. Uh, it definitely strikes me as difficult when you want to try and precisely move to where you're trying to go. That is quite a striking vista, though. I do enjoy this quite a bit. Very mysterious, too. Why is the metronome off in the distance like that and so scary? What is happening? Violin, let's get away from here. Absolutely. Alright, which... There's, there's my friend. Oh god, fog, don't touch me. I don't like fog. Let's get out of that. I also don't like that noise pattern that just took over the screen there. Oh no, I'm stuck in the wall! No, no, no! Don't! Oh no, the controls have killed me, I believe. I don't think I can move. I think I bent myself sideways into that wall, and now the screen is, is wrecked. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't do anything here. Oh, it moved me out. I'm not sure quite why. Alright, there's an arrow up at the top of the screen. I think I should probably see if I can follow that. Uh, this doesn't seem to be the right way, though. And also, my character seems to be permanently bent in half. Though oh, there's a hill over here. Let's go up. Ah, there we go. We got out of the fog, and that seems to have released whatever that tension was in our character's arched back. Oh, violin, it seems we're doomed. Fair enough. Let's play together a last time. Oh, that's sad. So, we'll press shift to play our violin. I'd like to get a closer look at the character. It seems to have a very interesting face. And we want to scroll to play louder, so we're going to scroll the mouse wheel up. Oh, and that seems to make us take off from the ground here. 
and we've gotten stuck in the sky or something. Okay, so we can levitate, and that was pretty wild. So we sent ourselves up in the air. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I've fallen behind. I feel like I'm playing I Am Bread in the, uh, oh. The character is getting stuck. It's the, the piece of toast got stuck behind the couch. I can't actually, yeah, I couldn't have moved there, so I think I'm just going to try and levitate that and get out of the way. Uh, let's see if I can use my powers in other ways, too. We should play again to get out of here. I think while I was up there, I could have gotten a better look at what was around me, but it seems like everything gets out of my way as long as I don't find myself underneath it and then get myself crushed by it. What an odd premise. I really like it, though. It's very cool. I just, I really want the polish to match the kind of class that I feel is exuding from the art style in this game, because I feel like it's very, very high production value, uh, with the exception of the controls and animation. The sound is lovely, uh, the visuals are lovely, again, with the exception of the anti-aliasing, and in general, I'm just very engrossed in the idea of this world, so I'd love to see where this could come uh, if we let it develop a bit further. The fog kind of looks a little bit like a white transparent version of hash browns though, which is a little strange to me as well, but it might just be a stylistic decision. Let's get a nice view of where we just came from. Oh, that's really pretty. The sun's casting god rays. We've got some, like, what appears to be torn fabric on that flagpole-ish looking thing blowing in the wind. Got various bits of detritus falling all over the place. We've got some telephone poles and power lines. Looks like things just sort of fade off into the distance, down into the bottom of the void that there always is. I'm also getting a little bit of like a Super Meat Boy Salt Factory vibe from this, although I, th I think it's probably a little bit different. And I guess this is another cue to play our violin again. And we'll scroll, make our area of influence larger or smaller. Oh yeah, you can actually see it. There's an orb there. I guess I'll just walk up to it. Alright, I'm not sure why that beacon was there. Violin, play as loud as you can, there's something behind. Absolutely. And you know what it is? It's that little creature that we've been following. Now I hope this doesn't fall on my head. Is it a dog? What is that thing? I'm not sure, but I want to know more. To be continued. So that's all we get to see with the Dur Alpha. Definitely grabs your attention, doesn't it? It's really quite lovely. I know I felt like I kind of harped on a lot of things there, but it's really just when the controls are a big problem, like when they don't move the, the way you want them to move or the way you expect them to move, I think that kind of ends up making the whole experience feel a little bit more janky than it even might be. But that's something that I'm sure could come quite a long way in a short time, uh, and also the animations could as well. Uh, you can actually do other varieties of things, like this isn't necessarily limited to just the scripted-looking sequences of where I walked and where I played the violin. Uh, pretty much everything that you see can actually be levitated to some degree. In fact, you can even stand on pebbles I've seen uh, and float up in the air. So, you know, you can actually probably use this to some pretty good pu uh, puzzle-solving effects. I just haven't been given the opportunity yet to figure out what those might be. Uh, but I definitely do look forward to seeing more. Uh, developers, by the way, are listed down on the bottom right there for credits. Uh, and this is a, a very interesting little experience, so I hope you enjoyed it. You can definitely go check this out yourself. Uh, if you choose to, there will be a link, of course, in the description, as there always is. Go give it a play, let me know what you think in the comments, and be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I will be back again tomorrow. New episodes of Indie Impressions go up every single day without fail, so I look forward to bringing you hundreds more. And if you're into the series, if you like the idea of finding out about a new artistic, original, or unique uh, indie game every single day, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, because that helps out a whole bunch, and you get to be part of a community of people that are all interested in this sort of thing. So I will see you back for another one tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a lovely night. Talk to you all later.